Both of those guys on the top are from uh, Veracruz, Mexico, and they're both maybe 500 A.D. or 600 A.D. The, the uh, guy on the left had wheels, the only, only wheels known in the Americas, and the, his helmet comes off. Uh, we were friends. I'm the only friend of Einstein still alive, <laughs> amazingly enough. Um, and it was a, a very, very nice, sort of wholesome uh, uh, relationship, which depended upon uh, honor and trust and, and, and a sense of humor. He had a delightful sense of humor. Uh, he also used to love to show people little plastic puzzles to see if they could work them out, and which always put people off. Uh, with me, when I, was, when I was about to leave his house after dinner, um, he went down and pulled out a, a little plastic monkey and wound it up, set it on a mirror, and the monkey went up the mirror. And when I got to the top, the frame broke the section, suction, and the piece fell into his hand. And that was a part of Einstein that most people don't, don't understand or, or see. But he was a, a charming, delightful, and, and very, very fine man. He was very ill. and. Uh, his Margot, his stepdaughter, uh, called me up and said, Gillette, you have to pick up your sculpture. I lent them a piece of Indian sculpture. And I went around, and, and Einstein called down from his bed upstairs, said, oh, Gillette, please come and talk with me. And I didn't want to sap his strength or, or whatever. So I said, I really can't. Ever since then, I've kicked myself. I should, of course, go on and, and talk, amused him, talk to him. And a day or two later, he was gone. I would like to address this message to Gorador Temistocles Ortega and Planning Secretary Daniel Luna Fals. Fals and the indigenous leaders of the land. I've always been fascinated by the cultures of ancient people, uh, people from Egypt, people from Greece, people from China, and people especially from the Americas, which are hardly... Hmm, People have not acknowledged sufficiently. <clears throat> Why is it, is it so important to the world to acknowledge the artifacts, <clears throat> paintings, and caves these people have, have made in, in ancient times? The legacy that these people left is an international legacy, not, not simply a local phenomenon. And it must be preserved and, and people must see it. It must be a part of, uh, of world heritage. One thing that most people don't understand, and in fact, it's hard to imagine, the ceramics, dishes, plates, bowls, all of that technology came up from South America to Guatemala and Mexico, and it came over the, over the ocean. Uh, before 1800 BC, there was no pottery in Mexico, I believe, and things came from 
uh, Ecuador and Colombia uh, by, by, by the ocean to the beaches of uh, uh, Guatemala and, and, and Guerrero. Uh, it's, it's fascinating to, to think that way, to, to, to see the uh, pieces themselves. There were no pieces originally made for cooking or, or hard use. They were all for prestige. The first thing that I, I try, to, try to get across to people is how beautiful these things are and how ingenious they are, how technically brilliant they are. Uh, people want to accept the fact that things came from Egypt, Greece, Mesopotamia, but they don't want to face the fact that things also came from the Americas. And the American things are just as interesting in, in their own way, and they're quite different. Uh, we should look at our own heritage first, and then relate it to the world heritage. I think he would have been fascinated by things that we, we are fascinated by. And at the, we still don't know much about the origin of Tierra Dentro. Uh, and Einstein would have been on the same, the same level. He, he, they, they would have uh, fascinated him, but he knew nothing about those cultures. I think so. I think it would have been for anything that would spread interesting and, 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 and uh, beautiful cultures and people. I think it's very important to explore the, the, the territory and, and uh, publish really fine photographs of the terrain and the people. Gracias a Dr. Elias Sevilla y doctora Paloma Muñoz.